everyone so today I'm here with my August favorites I actually only have four makeup favorites this month and I'm not really sure how many random favorites yet I'm still like coming up with them as I'm filming this video so this shouldn't be too long of a favorites video so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my makeup favorites First makeup favorite is another highlighter I feel like that should just be like in all of my monthly favorites I find a new highlighter and I'm like oh this is my new favorite but literally I have so many highlighters and I love them all so so much if you guys want to know all the highlighters I have I do a makeup stash series on this channel and I did one on highlighters so I will link that down below but my past this past month's favorite highlighter has been the Balms Mary Luminizer this is so stinking pretty I have it on today I'm not too sure how well you'll be able to see it I did reapply it which you don't need to do I just did because I a nap it's like the prettiest highlighter ever it's so like universal on every skin tone it looks really really nice and it's definitely a favorite of mine it's very light and it looks very natural on my skin tone which is nice because it's hard to find a highlighter that looks natural on like paper white fair skin tones because it just looks like a streak of like gold or a streak of like champagne but this looks really nice it's just like a light color but it really comes through and I really really like this. Another favorite of mine this past month I haven't really mentioned on this channel I did mention it in our daily vlog channel but I have been using it ever since I bought it it is the Morphe 35T palette. I don't, didn't have anything from Morphe previous to this. I did watch a review from Total Makeup Junkie 101. She did a whole like review on the Morphe palettes. I think she featured four of them. And I was so smitten with this one. It's the 35 Taupe palette, I believe. And like I said, I've never purchased anything from Morphe before, but the price is really good. They're, it was on sale. It says it's like originally like $45, but it was on sale for like $22. And I used like Jaclyn Hill's 30% or 20% off code. I don't know how much I spent. I think it's like $17 maybe. I'm not sure. But it's just, it's so beautiful. A lot of people are talking about the 35O palette right now, but this is it. Like this is where my money's at. I love cool tone colors. I've been getting a lot of use out of this palette. I just love these colors so so much these are right up my alley this is like the perfect palette for me my only like downside with it is there's no real good like highlighting shade like the lightest color is like this matte right here and it's still like a matte like mauvey brown and I don't think that'd be good as a highlight but this is just a fantastic palette all around the quality the pigmentation on these is actually really really phenomenal and I recommend this to pretty much everyone I think it's amazing and these colors are great like I was gonna like try and pick out a favorite for you guys but I really do like all of these colors I have done a lot of different looks with this palette this past month the few days that I have worn makeup and I've just like been in love with it like it's so pretty it was definitely like I'm just really happy I bought it. Very, very nice. And my last two favorites are lip products, both from ColourPop. ColourPop in general has just been like my absolute favorite. First of all, it's an amazing company. Second of all, the prices are so stinking good. Like the prices are ridiculously good and I love it. So I've just been like buying things here and there, becoming really obsessed. And I believe the day that I upload this video is the day that the fall like 90s collection comes out. I already have a list. Like I'm just so excited. I'm really happy that I decided to finally jump on the bandwagon that is ColourPop because it's worth it. Like it's just so worth it. So I mentioned a lot of things from ColourPop in my last video favorites video but this favorites video I have two lip products so the first is one of their lippy sticks this one is in skimpy and it is a glossy one it is just a nude color kind of like your average nude it kind of reminds me a lot of creme de nude by MAC and I really like it it's been really nice when I want to have like a go-to lip color I think I found this one out from Chow Bella XO she was wearing it in like a vlog or something and mentioned it and I was like that looks nice so I got it it's only $5 and I've been really liking that the other thing I've been loving are their new ultra matte lippies the one I have on today is called Kapow it was one of the newer released ones like they came out with you know their initial ultra mattes and then they came out with like eight new ones and this one and Clueless were the other two that I got from like the new ones I like this a lot it reminds me a lot of Stone by MAC which you guys know is my favorite and I really like this but one of the ones that is like seriously like my favorite I think this color was literally made for me I have been wearing it in like all my past videos it is the ColourPop ultra matte lip in trap <sighs> this looks so pretty it's like the prettiest brownish grayish color which sounds so weird but it just looks so nice and it flatters me so so well I remember I wore it in a video I uploaded the videos like the first time I wore it in a video and I was at work and I was downstairs working and Andrea texted me and she was like what are you wearing on your lips in this video and I was like oh it's you know it's trap she's like 
never stop wearing it like that color is made for you and I kind of agree I think it looks really good on my skin tone I think it looks really good on me and I really like trap it's like it's the prettiest color I have midi trap kapow um, clueless shimmy and solo I think that's how you pronounce it and I haven't really worn any of the pinks I've like really been sticking with the nudes but they're fantastic I really really like them and I definitely think I'm gonna get some more because they're just really nice in my opinion and this is like one of the first liquid lipsticks I have ever tried so I know a lot of people are saying they're super drying they're drying but I still like them so I'm aware so as far as makeup favorites, as far as random favorites go, the first is a company that I actually mentioned in my last try on haul and I'm actually wearing a shirt from them today. You guys haven't seen this shirt yet. It is from Serengeti. I mentioned it like I said in my try on haul so I will link that video down below but they did like kind of send me clothes and stuff like that but I actually ended up going back on their website and buying stuff for myself and for Brian because he was kind of jealous. He really liked the website and I got this shirt which I will probably feature in a haul. It's the Rio is the um where this uh, pocket's from, and it's the Sharks. I told you guys I'd get it. And then Brian got one, I believe, from, like, Salvador, and he got it, like, on a black shirt, and it looks so good. But I have been loving them. Like, I feel like I'm going to get shirts from them so much because they just came out with, like, an Austin print, and I live in Austin. And it's just, I've been really enjoying the brand. I've really been liking the clothes. It's my style of clothes, like, real comfy with, like, a little pop of something, something. And I've really been liking it. I think I have one more random favorite. I really need to start writing these down. And my last random favorite is another TV show, Go Figure. So Brian and I put Grey's Anatomy on hold, on hold for just a little bit, and we started watching True Blood on HBO Go. I was recommended True Blood, we were both recommended True Blood, and we love it. We marathoned it so quick. We're already like in the middle of season four, and we just started a couple of weeks ago. But I am loving True Blood. If I had to pick a favorite character, like as of like season four, where we're at, I really like Lafayette. I really like Eric for some reason. I've always had like a like a little bit of a like for Eric, and I like Hoy. I think Hoy is so precious. So that is True Blood. I recommend it to you if you are into like HBO shows, basically. And by HBO shows, you guys know what I mean. There's like language, mild nudity, things like that. But it's such a good show. I highly recommend it. True Blood is fantastic. So that is it for my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.